Senate Republicans are also using this government operations bill to try to restore the Columbus statue and to go after the Minnesota Historical Society. The bill would require the state government staff to restore the Columbus statue and reinstall it. And it would change who controls sites like historic Fort Snelling and the Split Rock Lighthouse. They're currently managed by the State Historical Society, but Senator Mary Kiffmeyer's bill would put them under the control of the Department of Administration. And we work to share the history in a fair and thoughtful manner. Historical Society Executive Director Kent Wentworth is perplexed. We frankly are mystified by why this proposal is coming forward at this time. We have not seen a bill on this concept. And this proposal appears to have the office assuming the management of nearly half of the state's historic sites. Also surprised by the proposal, the Commissioner of Administration, Alice Roberts Davis. We are not aware of why this transfer is even under consideration and these responsibilities are outside of the scope of SHPO's expertise. The only possible clue is a dispute from two years ago Americans when Kiffmeyer and other Republicans took offense at the temporary signage, Fort Snelling Apodote, which acknowledged the Dakota people's original name for the spot where the fort was built. John Croman, CARE 11 News.